Welcome back to Wolfenstein, the new order. We just arrived back at the Resistance HQ with Set Roth with us. Just rescued them from the prison. Now they need our help, need to get some welding equipment for them and stuff to help them fix up this little underwater craft, which we're going to need to commandeer a U-boat and then go to the bottom of the ocean and access some sort of Jewish vault full of magical technology. <laughs> you know, just normal things. Oh, say of good, say of good. Oh, Mr. Blaskovich, I will need some welding equipment, please. Set. Yes. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization of yours. Was it some kind of supernatural engineering? Supernat we don't believe in things supernatural, Mahali. We believe in God. The Das Yichud is 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 a. It's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding God through knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rational thought, not supernatural bobkis. Huh. Hmm. So everything you have created, what were you planning on using all that stuff for? Well, you don't understand, Amale. It is, well, there was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? So they created gigantic death robots to commune with God? Hmm. Okay. You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. Well, go on, go on, Mayla. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Mm. But never intended to be used. No, the, the act of creation itself is the intended use. What the zoo made the legitimate is yes, something cooking in that Chinese of hers. Uh, do you appreciate the, 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 the distinction? Mamala, this safe keep I'm about to reveal to you is not a treasure chamber. It is a deep geological repository uh, protecting some of our most dangerous creations for the sake of the outside world. The purpose already served. Do you see that? Whatever helps the cause. Oh, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. Don't be touching my baby girl without permission now, soldier man. You just stick to them guns and the Nazi killing. What about you? Why don't you step up and join the fight? What fight? Your fight? You took your orders from the man. The U.S. motherfucking government, man. What a trip. The war came and the man came calling. He sent my daddy to war and he did not return him. The bombs fell on our great cities and the man ran scared. Motherfucking gave up, you know? Huh. Nazis asked him to get down on his knees and the man was all too happy just to pucker up and start kissing Nazi ass like it was the most natural thing in the world, you know? I had to cross an ocean to get away from that place. They were throwing me in the gas chamber just like they did all the others. None of that has anything to do with me. That's not the America I fought for. Really? I was little, my mother wanted to take me to the picture show, but we had to go in through the fucking colored entrance. I wanted a hot dog and a lemonade, but the sign says we don't serve Negroes in this establishment. You're a patriot. Blue-eyed, jawhead, motherfucking Nazi-killing patriot that you are, you're still a fucking puppet to the man. You're exactly the kind of guy they ordered in come lynching time. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Before all this, before the Germans, before the war, back home, man, you were the Nazis. <clears throat> Be careful what you call me. <sighs> Violence. Language of the man. Can't you see? We're all just brothers and sisters now, aren't we? Hey, soldier man. You play? Pretty little girl I chance to meet and we dance by the light of the moon. Buffalo gals, won't you come out tonight?
In that moment, I glimpsed what a free mind can accomplish. What this world has turned its back on. I was on a ride no one else had taken. And in that moment, I was at the feet of a god. <laughs> wow, that was that was quite a trip, literally and kind of figuratively. Um, I like this character Jay a lot more than the other character that appears when you save Fergus. Yeah, this character is a lot more interesting. It's um, I mean he's he's right. He's absolutely right. What he said about Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz is a uh, just a jarhead soldier. Blue-eyed, very Aryan-looking jarhead soldier. Blaskowitz is really in that patriotic mindset, or at least they were when they were fighting in the war, where they thought that they were protecting some, like, perfect, ideal, beautiful thing, protecting the U.S. But the U.S. was not and never has been ideal, especially for marginalized people. Yeah, this character's a lot more interesting than the other one. Help set locate any part he might need, okay? Yes, yes, welder. Get him the welder. Oh. Oh, right, these are all the new arrivals. Yeah, I guess they don't normally get to eat much food, so they feel paranoid and protective when they have a whole pantry. Don't worry, buddy. Eat up. Where is the welding equipment, actually? Would it be down here? He was in prison at Eisenbahn for three months, but he managed to escape. Really? From Eisenbahn? I heard you go there, you never come back. It's all thanks for that big guy. Blaskowitz, they call him. Apparently, he spent the last 14 years in a, in a madhouse. I heard he was hospitalized after an injury. But that would explain a lot, wouldn't it? You'd have to be crazy to break into both Eisenwald and Belitza. They'd make it back alive. I think he's brave. Brave and crazy. What's up, Captain? Looking for the welder. You seen it? Oh, yeah. I, I was attempting to fix the broken railing over at the secret fountain entrance, and I dropped the welder in the water. I haven't gotten around to fishing it out yet. Maybe you could give it a shot? Look by the secret fountain entrance, Captain. I dropped the welder in the water. Ah, <laughs> uh, what is it with hey, people? Jay, could you hand me that screwdriver? No problem. Jay? What? I asked you to hand me the screwdriver. Just toss it over here. Oh, right. What are you doing? I'm working on a riff, man. In your head? Don't you need a guitar or something? Inspiration strikes like lightning. You gotta punch the ticket. Take the ride then and there, you know? Or else it drifts off into the great beyond. Uh-huh. You know, I dabbled in the music a little bit while I was at Harvard. Hmm. Yep, play clarinet in the marching band. That's cool, man. Even wrote some melodies myself. I don't think I can remember them now, but... I'm sorry, man. Could you just be quiet for a moment? Yeah. I'm losing my group. Okay. Sorry. It's cool. You can see their hands. <laughs> yeah, just like they're playing a guitar that isn't there. Alright, secret fountain entrance. I remember we saw that one time. It just said fountain. But yeah, what is it with people just giving me these ridiculous, like, fetch quests? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to, you know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Uh, please. 
What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? They would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration, Veneer, that time comes. You're on. <laughs> I don't, actually, I don't think fetch quest is really the right word. It's not that, like, what I'm doing is fetch questy. It's just that the characters are sometimes incredibly, ridiculously inconsiderate. Like, the one time when I uh, had that circular saw, then crashed through the ground. And, like, nobody would even throw a rope to help me up. It's just like, oh, yeah, just figure it out for yourself. Oh, by the way, there's a turd in there that they didn't even mention and all sorts of other things to kill that want to kill me. And then here it's just like, oh yeah, drop the thing in the water. Um, you go pick it up. It's like, thanks. Ah, so this is when we get to go here. I shoot that? Ah! <laughs> Reflection. Oh, does that mean what I think it means? <laughs> oh, look at that. It's super cool looking. This is the battle arena. I remember this. Let's knock these down first. Cover and recharge stations. Alright, bring it up. I don't think I want that.
Oh god. Oh god, they're fucking terrifying looking. Ugh. I wonder what they do to make these soldiers. Now, obviously they once were human, but they have been cut up and changed. Oh, this is that this is that area that I saw from in here in the archives right and I was wondering if I could go in here and I couldn't you come out of here ah long long for a lousy welder yeah Wyatt oh I'm sorry it's just my wedding ring it's gone I'm always so clumsy I lost it when we got back it's not worth much but it's all I have left of him Dear Sebastian. Oh yeah, I remember where the ring is. It is in... the toilet. Well, that seems to be in order. Oh, well, next to the toilet. Close enough. To steal a Nazi U-boat. I need set to repair that thing on the table. Help him with his work. Mm -hmm. Oh, Isha Koach, That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She sure. Charlotte's letter, by the way, if you'd like to read this. We'll need the frequency of the transponder to track the thing. William. Do you have a moment? trying for years to bring it up to working order. This is the first phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. Use the tunnel glider to find a way into the weapons depot in the Berlin catacombs. Anya has agreed to track your position over the transponder and provide tactical support. Good luck, Sir Blaskovich. These are deep waters. William, can you hear me? You have to make your way all the way through the sewer tunnels and into the Berlin catacombs. I'll try to guide you through. Such a cool device. And by the way, if you're wondering, as I was, how is Blaskowitz breathing? Because this thing obviously isn't enclosed. It's got a totally open design. Uh, there's some sort of a, like, oxygen tank with a breathing mask on this thing, apparently. You can kind of hear him breathing through it. 
But yeah, look at those little, those little uh, moving propeller things on the front. It's really cool. What's those creepy whisperings really are, well, creepy. You are right underneath the Eisenwald prison now. Caroline told me a few inmates tried to escape through the sewer system with some valuables a few years ago. They didn't make it very far. So these diary entries are really interesting for a couple of reasons. So these ones I will, well, not exactly read because they're actually read by uh, by Anya. It's in Polish, but I'll translate. Ramona writes, May 11th, 1940. I've only been back home for three days and now the Nazis have arrived in town. They killed Jakub Brozek. He was shot in the head. His horse was blocking the road. He taught me how to French kiss. I'm going to do something about this situation. The section you are in now, it's been out of commission for a long time, but some machinery might still be manually operable. Some missing fan blades, so we gotta turn this till we can get through both this fan and the next one. Yeah, that should do it. Whoa! <laughs> I just pressed E while I was in the air and just instantly put me in it. Cool. Speed strats. What's over there? Because I can keep going forwards. So what's this? The deep basin was used to regulate overflow. You will have to find a way to reach the platform on the other side.
can read that if you'd like. May 12, 1940. The Nazis have taken over the police station. They're asking local people to volunteer for service. I'm going to volunteer. I'm going to find a way to kill them. Oh, so I think this is where I'm supposed to go. So then over there, getting through that fan must be some sort of bonus thing. Look for some mechanism to fill the basin with water. It will have to be all the way to the top for you to swim across. Oh wait, is it going to drain out? Is that what's going to happen? No. Okay, good. Uh, that also put the water up over there, but that's fine. That shouldn't affect my ability to go through that at all. A <laughs> gold ladle? And then what's through here? Well, something that's really uh, impressive, too, is how good the swimming is in this game. It's surprisingly realistic. Now where are we? But yeah, uh, look at the hands. Like, when you go to turn, they, like, push the water in the opposite direction. That's super cool, and... When you go to move, you don't always move just a constant speed. Which isn't really how it is, obviously. It, you move when you go to a stroke. Like, you move faster, and then kind of slow, and then fast, and then slow, and then fast. With each stroke. It's really good. That sort of thing is pretty difficult to do, by the way. Um, like, I mean, making the swimming be sort of realistic wouldn't be all that difficult. But the extra hard thing to do is make it look fairly realistic and authentic. While having it also be responsive at the same time. Because the responsiveness of movement and jumping and crouching and whatnot in an FPS is way, way more responsive and quick than anything is in real life. If your character moved the way it does in real life, then it would feel horribly sluggish and just terrible. So making it feel authentic like this, while also making it very responsive and not feeling clunky is pretty difficult. Okay, seriously, what is this, though? I feel like I should have taken the glider in here, probably. Or the tunnel thing. What is this? Eerie. It feels like a sort of meditative place, almost. Alright, well, this is where we're supposed to go. Well done, Wilson. Through the last section, you will have to swim. The catacombs are close. May 18th, 1940. Daytime, I care for the sick working at the asylum. On the evenings, I go to town to prepare supper for the Nazis at the police station. They seem to trust me. I think I can lure one of them away. If I can get a Nazi alone, I think I can kill him. I have never killed anyone. I don't know how to fight or fire a weapon. I will have to be smart about it. I miss the university. Perhaps what I'm about to do will be a learning experience. Age 11. Swam across Forney Lake on a bed over 10 soldiers. It wasn't as dark as this. It exploded over here opening this up, by the way, just in case that wasn't obvious. 
Is this my max speed? June 25, 1940. The Nazi appears to have a very high opinion of his mother. I learned this as he was bleeding to death at the end of my knife in the outhouse next to the bakery. Muti, Muti, he whimpered. My hands were shaking. Nearly dropped my knife. I had told him I would kiss him, and he let me lead him outside into the night. I seem to have a lot of trouble getting to the surface. Like, I'm trying to be on the surface, but I can't seem to quite do it. There we go. Sort of. November 29th, 1940. The Nazi appears to love his sausage. I learned this as he kept on eating his supper, even though the cyanide must have ruined the flavor. His eyes rolled back all white, yet he kept chewing. The cyanide I stole from my mother's cabinet. At times, I am struck with pangs of remorse. But then, I think of Jakub Brozek. Obviously, you need to get that open somehow. Is there another mine down here? Blaskowitz hold his breath for. Jesus. Alright, the water's pretty funky. Swimming looks and feels pretty good generally, but man, it is funky sometimes. remember right, the person I watched who played through this went down that hole, not not this upper hole, but went down that big hole down there, and it's just death. <laughs> I don't remember if there's something here though. Let me check around here first. William, directly above you are the catacombs. There is an elevator that can take you right into the weapons depot. Ramona writes, May 2nd, 1941. The Nazi appears to become sleepy after climaxing. I learned this as his little soldiers were leaking out of me onto his sheets, and his face turned blue from the rope I applied to his neck in his slumber. Tomorrow is my 18th birthday. Excellent, Captain Blaskovich. You 
are now inside the weapons depot. This is the second phase of the plan to gain access to sets underwater safe keep. In this munition stock there is a cargo train. The train is packed full. Small arms, artillery shells, torpedoes and such for distribution to the Nazi war machine. You will steal this train. Small arms we can use to strengthen our fighters, but the real target is securing the torpedo delivery. This will allow you to board and seize control of a Nazi U-boat. But first things first, steal the train. Okay, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to steal a train.